What's up everybody? My name is Trent Weldon and welcome back to the channel Well Done Tanks. Today we are going to do a video from a subscriber request. So when I moved to this house, <clears throat> my wife let me set up my fish tanks back up here in our laundry room. So that is where we are at. We're kind of on the main, uh, I want to say living space. It's a two-story house. We're on the main floor where all the bedrooms are. So the upstairs kind of a thing. So I definitely need to make sure my tanks are somewhat quiet as I do not want to disturb my family you know, while we're sleeping or anything on that nature. But we did make some adjustments here recently in the fish room that did create a little more noise, but for the cost of kind of, I guess, the, the benefit of better filtration. So better filtration, cost was a little bit more noise. And that is we upgraded all of the tanks in here to run off of one of these active aqua air pumps. <clears throat> So this air pump was, I think I want to say like $40 on Amazon. I could be wrong on that, but there will be a link down in the description below that you can buy this exact air pump if you choose to do so after watching this video, if you like the information I'm giving you. So this air pump is rated to do 45 liters of air per minute. That's quite a bit of air, right? That's definitely a lot of air coming out of this pump versus in my old fish room in my previous house, I was running a similar air pump that would do 45 liters of air, but cost me $200. And that was an air pump from Gemco. Now, hands down, if I was gonna recommend one and you had, you know, price wasn't an option or like price didn't matter, Gemco all the way. That was one of the, if not probably the best air pump I've ever used for a large application. But one of these though, people can't afford $200. So that's why I like these, right? This active aqua air pump with, it comes with a six outlet gang valve. And I will be leaving a video up in the corner, the card to show you the actual video where we upgraded the air pump in this fish room and how we ran the airlines. So it comes with, you know, already a gang valve. You could run six individual tanks. I've expanded mine to where I'm running 15 sponge filters in here just with this pump. So it definitely, packs some power for a reasonable price. The difference though is it's we're going to be it's a lot louder. And this is what the subscriber request was is he wanted to see a decibel test. Really how loud is this pump compared to other pumps? So when we first moved to this house and you're going to see some uh, more videos coming on this specific pump. I definitely have more I want to do. Let me get the cord out of the way. Man, it doesn't matter. So this is the nano USB air pump that Aquarium Co-op brought in. This little pump is awesome. Don't get me wrong. As much as I really like this active aqua air pump, this little nano air pump, I have about 12 of these now. And one being reason is, as I used to run every sponge filter in this fish room with these nano air pumps. These things are awesome. Um, you know, it's their USB run. So the plug-in is a USB. This, you know, they do provide a power source, you know, an adapter to plug into a regular outlet. But one reason why I like these so much is that you can actually use any USB air connection. And this is something we'll go over in a future video. But today's video, we're gonna focus in on how quiet this air pump is and how loud this air pump is to kind of give you a broad range and make let you decide what's gonna be best for your application. So like I say, at one point I was running about nine of these air pumps in here. So that's nine outlets I had to come up with. Um, this active aqua pump definitely moves more air than this USB air pump. So there's some pros and cons here, right? Um, this pump, this active, active aqua, it draws 20 watts of power. I believe these little nano pumps draw like 0.3 watts. So you kind of, you can do your math, right? You crank a hundred of these out, you're definitely gonna be using more power. But really we're gonna focus in on now is how quiet this pump is and how loud this pump is. And to do that, we are going to be using a simple uh, decibel meter. It's just a decibel meter that I have on my phone. Uh, it's an app I downloaded. So I am gonna be doing some talking here, but you're gonna see some B-roll footage of what I'm gonna be using on my phone. I'm doing a screen recording. So I'm gonna do a couple tests here. I do not have any of the nano pumps running in this room right now, but we're going to do a test of just sitting here. 
and <clears throat> the air pump is tucked underneath one of the stands. And this is the active aqua air pump. Then I will do a test of the phone right next to the air pump and I'll do a test standing outside the door and I will let you know of all the, the ratings of everything, everything comes in but you're going to see it on the phone. We'll make sure to edit all of this in and then we're going to go downstairs to where I actually am running one of the USB air pumps and do a test there. So let me get this pulled up <coughs> and we will uh, get this started here. So this first test is going to be we are just sitting here. We're sitting in the middle of the room. We're, we're, we're working with the camera here. This is the first test. So right now with me, well, I need to stop talking here. So I'm going to say the average for that first test is going to be 50 decibel, 53, 53 decibels is what we're going to be hearing. That's just sitting here in the middle of the room. Now you probably can possibly hear this running through the microphone on the camera footage, but now we're going to do a test of the phone right next to the air pump and do a decibel test there. So I think it jumped up to about 66 decibels, um, definitely a little louder. Uh, it's For me personally, it's not completely noticeable. I mean, it's noticeable, right? But it's not so loud that it's bothering me. Now, this may not be a, a pump you want to use in like your main living area, you know, down in a, a family room kind of a setting, but it definitely powers a lot of tanks. If you have like a small fish room or something else, then we'll actually do a future video more in regards to this pump. Now let's do the next test where I'm actually standing outside of the door of my fish room. So hopefully this helps. Now we're going to move down to the basement where I'm actually running one of the Nano USB air pumps and we're going to do a test down there as well. All right, guys, we are down here in my basement where it's actually fairly quiet. It's sort of underneath my stairs that lead down to the basement. We are here down in like a plant storage tank I'm using right now, but I'm using a USB air pump to just keep a sponge filter running in here just to give some surface agitation so that the water doesn't stay completely stagnant. So we're going to do another screen recording here. <clears throat> you know, for, and just kind of first show you how quiet it is. Just standing here, then I'll go right down to the air pump. So it hovers right around like 28 when I'm not talking. And we're going to go right down to the air pump here. I think even like right down to the air pump, it's like 40. But overall, you don't hear it. Like if you're just in a room, like I would use this air pump if I was just in a room, right? Just a simple room setting, nothing else. Um, it would be a great air pump for that option. Like it really would be a fantastic air pump for that. So thank you. Uh, this has kind of been a fun test to see, kind of doing some different things. Uh, like I say we're, we're down in my basement right now. I'm literally like, I picked up the tripod, just kind of walking around. So it'll be fun. Like it really will be fun to see. But I, I plan on using that active aqua air pump to power most of the tanks. Well, the breeding rack here in the new fish room when we get this built. So if you're excited to see this happen, if you want to see more testing, more air pumps, let me know. <clears throat> we can do some, definitely do some more things. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'm Trent Weldon, and we'll see you guys in the next one.